This podcast is presented to you by the Center for Writing and Communication, Ashoka University. Hello to everyone who's listening and welcome to a new episode of uh, Back to the Tutor, which is our podcast series uh, from the Center for Writing and Communication, Ashoka University. Uh, to anyone who has heard our episodes before, welcome back. And to those who haven't, uh, you can check out uh, our center's profile on SoundCloud and also download the episode from there. Uh, today, we are having a special episode with our director, Kanika Singh, uh, who's a historian uh, and also teaches at Ashoka University. And uh, her current work focuses on the representation of heritage in Sikh museums. And her research interests include heritage politics in contemporary India, uh, Delhi's history and its medieval monuments, and teaching pedagogy. Uh, she's also the co-founder of Delhi Heritage Walks. And uh, of course, she's the director of CWC. So what we intend to do in this episode is to address some of the basic questions that, uh, for example, a new batch of Ashoka students might have about our center, uh, and since we frequently receive queries from uh, both Ashoka and student bodies outside of Ashoka, uh, we thought an episode that introduces and explains uh, the philosophy, the functionality of the center uh, might be good. And uh, we also uh, intend to explain things like how we operate in what exact stage of student academics do we step in? Uh, how do we help students in their writing, uh, our activities, etc.? Uh, and since we are all working online, uh, we couldn't be there as a team to interact with Ashoka students, unfortunately. Uh, so we thought this is the next best thing we could do. So without further ado, I will bring in uh, Kanika. Uh, hello, Kanika. How are you? Hi, Uday. Thanks very much. I'm well. I hope you are also doing well. I am. Uh, so, uh, Kanika, I thought we could begin by uh, perhaps addressing uh, the first basic or fundamental question that many might have about CWC, uh, which is that what does it principally do in the Ashoka University uh, ecosystem? Okay, so the CWC stands for the Center for Writing and Communication, two key words uh, in, in university education. Yeah, so... CWC works closely with the academic community in Ashoka uh, to develop critical thinking skills, writing and communication skills. And we are the largest center at Ashoka and we work with everyone, all the diverse sections who make up the Ashoka community. So by which I mean the entire student body, from the undergraduate students to postgraduate and research scholars, the, the faculty, the instructors, staff, and other specialized centers in the university as well. And this the scope of the work is very wide. And this is uh, also reflected in the composition of the team. So you as a team member know that CWC uh, at present is made up of 13 people. And we are a very, very exciting, very vibrant group of scholars professionals, translators, writers, researchers, and it's our combined expertise which helps uh, keep the conversation going on critical thinking, writing, and communication, and provide academic learning support at the university. And so for those uh, who, you know, have known about the center for uh, for some time, could you tell us something about the, the history and the inception of the center itself? Uh, you know, things like when did it start or perhaps a brief history of uh, how it has developed, uh, how we have expanded, what have we been doing? Okay, so um, before I actually expand on the history, let me say a few more lines on the actual nature of work um, as we interact with this, the, 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 the academic community in Ashoka. So the way we provide learning support is, is both course specific as well as through extracurricular uh, events or uh, activities, for instance, in the form of creative programs. So our interactions are within the classroom as classroom instruction. They, are, they take form of workshops in small groups. 
and also as one-on-one -on -one sessions. So for instance, the core specific workshops will address some of the most fundamental aspects of critical thinking and academic writing, which might be particular to that discipline or the theme, or sometimes even just the assignment which we are working with the students are working with. Um, a large part of part of our work is also now English language support, which is a support system, a program which runs through the academic year, starting from the, the bridge program in the summer and to the credited courses which run through the academic uh, semesters. Yeah. So now keeping all of this in mind, a lot of these initiatives have been built over time. The CWC, when you mention its history, I should say that the CWC is as old as the university's undergraduate program itself. So we were established in the two, year 2014. And this also clearly means that we were envisaged as an integral part of Ashoka's curriculum and pedagogy. Initially, CWC's responsibility was to provide writing support to the mandatory undergraduate courses on critical writing. Uh, these were specifically for first year undergraduates. And uh, our support was concentrated through one on one sessions with these students who were part of this course. Now, Ashoka has seen a very rapid expansion in the number of students, the number of and the kind of courses that are being offered, also the levels from UG, PG to now graduate uh, research. And not only is the student body larger, but it is also more diverse with, with different learning needs. So keeping all of this in mind, the CWC too has reconsidered its role in the university. Uh, the range of support provided and the method and application of, of, of rolling it out has also changed. So for instance, just to give you an example, uh, the development of our English language teaching program. Uh, it teaches English language, but it also works closely with discipline specific courses to provide help in English for academic purposes. Yeah. And Another example is the very successful introduction of the creative programs, which address, and you have led some of these creative programs, so you're familiar with them. And these address writing, communication, and critical thinking outside of the curriculum. And, and specifically highlighting those processes or unpacking those elements of our daily life, uh, which may or may not be part of our, say, university curriculum. So the music we listen to, the photographs we take and share, the jokes we crack, the memes we create and enjoy, and so on. So keeping this in mind, uh, I've just given you two examples. One which shows how CWC's work within the curriculum at Ashoka has expanded, but also how CWC has seen its role as going beyond the curriculum as well. So uh, for those who might not know, as a brief sample of uh, what Kanika was saying, uh, creative programs, we also uh, just recently did a program on sound in cinema, uh, So, which dealt with uh, not only writing per se, but also how sound is used in a text like cinema and how sound comes into screenwriting and so on and so on. So that's just a brief sample of how diverse things can be in terms of the creative programs that we arrange. Since we do have the name of uh, our center, uh, there are two vital words in, in that title, which is writing and communication. Uh, could you outline how do we view writing differently? Uh, how is it separate from the subjects that any student might study? Uh, I'm, and we're asking this especially because uh, writing centers are, uh, are a nascent thing in the Indian education system. So, for example, many public universities don't have them, and the formulation that uh, that's that 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 has been existing there since many years is that professors teach and students write, and that's the end of the thing. So, uh, could you could you briefly provide a window onto how we differently view writing? Yes, thank you for that question because uh, I think that's the key. The way we have 
viewed writing and communication is the key to understanding how the center works and also the key to understanding how we see our work as in terms of long term vision for what the center should achieve so i have interpreted writing and communication in a very very broad and an open way so it's not limited to academic writing or creative writing in fact many people when they ask me what do i do and when i tell them that i work at the center for writing often immediately their response is oh you teach creative writing or oh you teach academic writing so i want to emphasize here that the way we have envisaged writing and communication and the center's scope of work it's not limited to these three these two categories which we are which we are most familiar with but it includes every act of communication we perform as human beings and as members of the ashoka community so cwc's work then can be envisaged as a very very large umbrella and this umbrella includes every activity that can be considered writing or communication and to be able to take on this scope um the first step definitely was to create a team which could think of writing in such an open way yeah so there was a conscious effort to forge a team where the team members come from diverse backgrounds and diversity in terms of disciplinary uh, expertise their linguistic expertise uh, their experience of writing in different contexts and this includes academic writing creative writing but also journalistic popular and so on yeah so the cwc team as you know well or there uh, has historians it has translators you yourself translate it has it has anthropologists we've had lawyers performers dancers and journalists and so on so people who write and communicate in different ways and they deal with a range of sources which are textual they are visual audio ethnographic digital performance so like i said the scope is unlimited in our interpretation of writing and communication and this understanding of writing and communication is clearly articulated in our creative programs also so the creative programs which are extracurricular events designed and executed by cwc team members and invited experts and of course being open to public uh, there there are fun events which innovatively unpack analyze a range of writing and communication activities in our daily lives so internet uh emails photographs news memes yeah and like you said the workshop on sound and music you know that we've had very successful workshops on uh say for instance recipe writing organized by one of our former colleagues mohini mehta so if i could just say another line about the uh about this specific workshop just to explain to our uh, audience that how our creative programs envisaged and how the how do we cons- and as an example of how we consider writing and communication so in this workshop on uh, writing recipes this was about 2 hours long and mehta is is an anthropologist who, who works on food cultures she was able to demonstrate that recipe writing is is as a literary form Uh, a skill and a skill and also as a simultaneously a very political uh, act yeah so gender and caste uh, was involved in the skill of recipe writing and reading in fact as it is in the in the field of cooking so the participants were were again a very diverse range people from ashoka's uh, baking society yogi students who were members of the baking society a staff member who was just fond of cooking and thought this was interesting uh, a graduate student who was working her, his research was on uh, food cultures and food histories so this event brought together unlike a normal classroom which is which is specific to discipline often specific to discipline and levels we these uh, creative programs have the ability to bring together people from different backgrounds and trainings and to interact an event like this is fun because it's recipe writing i'm not lecturing you too much uh we make recipes we we write recipes we can even cook and most importantly it is successful in weaving 
an everyday topic or an activity, in this case food and recipes, with critical thinking, the craft of writing and of communication. So this, some, this I hope explains a little bit of how we are thinking of bringing writing, communication uh, and critical thinking together in our daily lives as well and not limited to say academic writing or creative writing. And uh, to give you another example, there's another initiative of the CWC, which is very dear to my heart, a series called Writing Geographies. And we have tried to use it uh, as a platform to engage with the languages, the linguistic diversity of India. So when we uh, study at the university level, overwhelmingly higher education and things like critical thinking, academic writing is done in English. So we wanted to use this platform to see that what about those who, do, who are not fluent in English, can they not do critical thinking? Uh, of course they can, but what is our understanding of critical thinking then? What is our understanding of the writing and communication then? So writing geographies was seen as, as a platform where we could hold events in multiple formats. They could be simple lectures, they could be performances, conversations with scholars, uh, activists and writers whose work is informed by their geography and their language. And for instance, a couple of uh, uh, events which we organized under this this banner of writing geographies. One was the critical examination of the term Northeast by a political scientist and Yves Barua. Another was discussion with the journalists of Khabar Leheria, which is a team of women journalists reporting from Bundelkhand. So the idea was you are looking at different regions, you're diff looking at different languages, and you're looking at practices of writing and communication in these, in these languages and in these geographies. So uh, we want to think of uh, writing and communication in the Indian context in ways which are vivid, which are creative, and which will inform not only our academic work, that of course is a priority as part of the university, but uh, also uh, extends to our daily life and uh, so that our relevance of talking about writing, talking about critical thinking and is, is not limited to people who are academics but also to everyone who's part of the university and is not necessarily studying to become an academic. You know, it could be a staff member who do participate in our creative programs actually. So. So yeah, in so in that answer, this it just sums up all the uh, all the ways in which we transcend genres, forms, uh, and there's a sort of very lively medley of all kinds of academic streams uh, sort of meeting in a confluence. Uh, and uh, so I thought that we might conclude this uh, on a note because we are nearing uh, the end of our time. Uh, could you say something about, I mean, of course, we have uh, relayed whatever the CWC does and has been doing and what our, uh, how we operate in terms of the uh, academics at Ashoka. Uh, I was wondering if we could leave the audience with uh, something that CWC plans to do, something that we are, uh, that something that, something more that we want to do. Uh, what's the vision of the center for the, for the near future that we can see and uh, yeah, so something on that, I was thinking if we could conclude on that note. Within the university, our immediate priority is to further integrate the center's work with curriculum across disciplines within Ashoka, including the sciences. Yeah. So, so this process of doing uh, course-related work has just started a couple of years ago, and there's still a long way to go, and we... Uh, there, there's much scope for improving this integration. Our second priority uh, within Ashoka is developing an English language support program uh, and improving on it. We are already doing a lot of work on it, but uh, English for academic purposes and English language teaching in India is 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 uh, 
has much scope for improvement and one could do it in one could create learning material and develop teaching practices which are relevant to the indian context and also specifically to a context of uh, of a university which has this interdisciplinary pedagogical vision so these would be our two priorities in terms of uh, uh, curricular work within ashoka uh, as our long term vision of what the center where does the center want to intervene in in this in the space of higher education in india uh i would say we have a potential to creating for creating a writing support program with this vision which i just articulated uh to create a support program which is inclusive and relevant to the indian context which means that we we are thinking about writing we are thinking about languages and we are thinking about academic practices and pedagogy within the indian uh, context of higher education and i believe cwc through the activities i have outlined we have gradually emerged within ashoka as a platform where all members of ashoka can participate and debate with these ideas of texts languages pedagogy uh and there is further scope through our conferences through our research forums to make cwc uh or to, for the cwc to emerge as as a larger platform within the indian academia uh we have also managed to create a tremendous amount of learning material as part of our support programs i hope that eventually cwc will make this learning material available as an open access knowledge bank both for educators and for students and i would like to see this in more than one indian language so that's definitely a, a very very ambitious but i also think a necessary and logical step for the cwc to take and this could be done not only uh, not not merely as a single center but in collaboration with other writing centers other in other universities which are coming up in india and maybe even asia you you never know so writing centers do have a potential to emerge as a space where we can research we can experiment about uh, issues of language and education multilingualism pedagogy and critical thinking in the context of indian higher education right uh so yeah uh, i mean a lot of universities you know uh, in india have now started uh you know experimenting and doing lots more interesting exciting things in in the form of writing centers so it's a very lively exciting happening field in india uh and especially much needed in in the context of developing pedagogy and the methodology of teaching which in traditional environments uh you know needed much attention and probably didn't get enough of it in the traditional university uh system So as we near the end of this episode I would request the listeners to check out our social media where you can know about our work uh, we are on Instagram and Twitter as CWC Ashoka uh, and you can email us at cwc@ashoka.edu.in and we have lots more programs coming up so for example just like we had an event uh, in sound in cinema we have lots more creative programs coming up uh, we do Instagram live so we invite people who have uh, many interesting things to contribute in the field of writing academics or even uh, any creative field uh, to have conversations uh, about them uh, and yeah so this was our hope that with this explainer come introduction episode we expose the new students at ashoka to the philosophy behind our center since we are not physically present in the campus to interact with the students to sort of explain as best as possible uh, how cwc can help them and what our vision is and of course students in other universities as well who might or might not have uh, heard of our center so uh that brings us to the conclusion of this episode uh if you like our work then you can please uh, check our previous episodes on our soundcloud channel for example uh, one of our previous episodes dealt with how we deal with english language teaching exclusively and how we transition during the during the corona virus period when of course uh, the all universities were in lockdown uh so yeah and we 
closing this episode with that that's a wrap thanks uday thank you kanika